Cassie's playing Baldur's Gate. What if I just call Cassie and tell her it's it's 12 a.m. It's time to stream. I'm going to do it. Oh. Hi. It's time for the Cassie stream. Get ready. What? Five o'clock? No, no, no. It's 12. It's 12? Yeah. Oh. Check your clock. You forgot to change your clock? Oh, I forgot it was uh, spring I've... forward. Uh, <laughs> spring. Five hours. It is, it's daylight savings time, but crazy. <laughs> Wouldn't that be insane? <laughs> if instead of if one, one hour, it's like five four, hours. Four or five yes. hours. If your whole day goes I feel like if that happy. happened, I think maybe the world wouldn't be able to adjust to that kind of change. I feel like getting those up in the middle of the night to oh go to school. Oh, my God. That'd be horrible. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I don't know. I just figured I'd call. I saw you were playing Baldur's Gate, so I wanted to bother you. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Saria's here helping keep an eye on Nels for a little bit to give me a break. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, she's she's not taking him tonight, but she's just offered to come by and... She was like, oh, so you can go get stuff done. I was like, I don't want to get anything done. I want to oh, play, play video games. I want to go see, best, <laughs> I want to go see Asterian. Yeah, I was like, I, I think you misunderstand. Yeah. I just don't want to do anything for a exactly. couple hours. Exactly. Yeah. What are you playing? I'm going to finish up Carto, the, the map game that I've been playing. What is that game? I don't watch any of it. It's, you'd, you'd like it. It's like you, you, you place little squares to build a map. To progress the story you collect map pieces and you go around and you build the map and you walk around but why did you say yesterday that you were bad at it that sounds easy no it <laughs> there are you can't <laughs> fit everything together oh like it goes in certain biomes places? have to be connected to certain biomes and the That's the the level that was bothering me was they were no longer squares and they were shaped like tetris pieces <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Putting Elsa's new favorite thing is to he takes the cases off and he flips them around. And he does it with everything. Like uh, I just picked oh, up Oh, for the phone? Uh phones, tablets, Kindles, like he takes the case off, flips it around, and then just like leaves it like that. So you come up and your phone and, or tablet is like backwards. And you case. can't press the turn on button because the case is upside down. Yeah, you have to pull off the whole case. And, like, though it doesn't bother me too much unless it's the Kindle. Because when he flips the Kindle around, it just holds the power button down when it does that. <laughs> so, because of the way that he does it. So, then I come over and it's, like, freaking out. And I'm like, oh, my God. Nils. Um, Cassie. Like, oh Merm says, Cassie, I also do that. Get Merm. <laughs> Nils needs to go, Merm. like, have a beer or something. Because y'all are... Y'all got the same shit going on. Sheepy wants to know how your playthrough is going. I'll give you a minute to say how it's going. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, it's all right. I just got to Gortash. I'm actually talking to Gortash right now. Um, I feel like no matter what I do, it's the wrong answer. I'm in an alliance with Gortash, and now I have to go into the basement. Um, I'm looking at my <laughs> screen basement. now, and I think... I think it's like I've been like everything's been glitchy on my machine lately. Like I'm looking, and Will is like three feet below the other characters, staring up like a child from the corner of the screen. And I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> why is there a tiny little Will head? Your computer up? is fucked. Take a screenshot. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Oh my god! Here, hold on. Print screen. Uh, can I just paste it right in? Snow says my earbud just fell into my hot chocolate. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't lean your head over your hot chocolate. Oh, Britt might skip tonight. What? Britt, Britt says their head feels like it's vibrating. No. We don't have to play jazz funk. It sounds like it's just going to be Ryan and Cassie. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Do whatever we want. Dude. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should do, uh... Like maybe, maybe instead of doing doing my end, maybe we should do more a way out on your stream. 
No, we could. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, look at this picture in stream chat. Oh, that's right. Okay, hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> that looks like the one. Hold on. Before I let you go. <laughs> hold on. It reminds me of an image. I found it. Oh, it reminds me of this, the, the Tyler one meme. Here you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is like that. <laughs> uh, that lady has Carlac energy too. Big tall mommy. Yeah, I I ended up um, apparently being unable to resist like putting more worms in my head. So now my face is all fucked up because I'm becoming like a mind flayer. Oh, so. nice going. Yeah, I've made some choices I'm not really proud of in this game. <laughs> just, yeah, you yeah. seem to be playing it bad. No I'm offense. So bad. I'm playing it really bad. I'm like, like I came back to my camp the other day, and this little girl's like, "I guess you'll never find my parents. I'm gonna go." And I was like, oh. <laughs> "Wow." Oh. <laughs> Oops, I think I messed that quest up. Um, like that. Rami said, did someone say a way out? Yeah, do you want to do a way out on your stream tonight instead? We can. Yeah, that that game's fun. Imagine. I think we should do a way out. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's a lot of edits of that image. That one's That's very good. funny. It does look like that though. Yeah, it I don't does. Know what's going on. This is the second glitchy thing. Like, when I finished a quest earlier, I was like, the guy I talked to teleported to the top of, like, the top of the area he was standing on. So they were talking, like, the girl was looking up, and he was, like, looking down, and the camera was right up his crotch. And it was like, the whole conversation. <laughs> I was like, what is going on with my computer? I needed to get fixed so bad. CP says you missed so much in Act 2. Sad I face. so much. I messaged CP, and I was like, I fucked it. I fucked it so bad. You fucked it. <laughs> I fucked it, yeah. And the funniest part is, I'm so bad at this game that, like, I don't even know if one of the party members in my camp is even there. I haven't seen them in a while, and I haven't even looked for them or talked to them in, like, hours. Um, really? Yeah. With a druid guy. I'm just avoiding him because I made him sad, so I just don't talk to him anymore because I don't want to hear how sad he is that I ruined his... <laughs> <laughs> that I fucked up his main story quest, and I'm like, I, maybe he left? I don't know. We don't talk. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you get back to Baldur's Gate. Okay. You guys I'll have fun. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I saw she was playing Baldur's Gate, so I figured I'd do that. All right. So, <laughs> let's think about this for a minute. We're going to play Takarto still, for sure. Uh, I asked Isu if they could do Resident Evil. I forgot that Isu is going to Florida, so they're packing. So there won't be any Resident Evil for like a week. Um, and now it sounds like we're uh, and now it sounds like we're doing the Cassie stream on Cassie's stream <laughs> and and doing a way out <laughs> because Britt can't be here. Uh, so we're definitely gonna do a- we're definitely gonna do Carto. So let's- let's play Carto. That we're definitely gonna do. I- I think we can finish this today. I don't know how far we are, but it sure seems like we're getting towards the end. So welcome back to Carto. Carquito. Melly's at a con today. I hope Melly's having fun. Melly's slaying, I know. That that cosplay looked really good. Yeah, those the picture of the Resident Evil cosplayers was very funny because Yeah, actually let's talk about that. Hold on. I didn't have time to really fully investigate uh that image. Where was it? Was that in General interests? Yeah, here we go. 
I didn't have a I didn't have time to fully look at this image. So one sec. I should really label these window captures so I don't have to like randomly click on every one hoping it's correct, only to find out it's not. Found it. I had it. There it is. Okay. I don't understand what's going on in that image. Uh, oops. It's Resident Evil. There's there's a bunch of Resident Evil cosplayers is what's happening in this image. You're back to the gene profile pic. Yeah. I I was I was like you know what I'm gonna change it up so I went back to uh, Gene. Yeah, there's two Ashleys. Oh, I don't know why I can move. Transform. Stretch the screen. Oh, I could still do that. That's weird. What the fuck? Reset transform? There we go. That's better. Is that what you've named the cat smoking a joint? No, that's the cat from No More Heroes. It's a video game. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say that the fucking guy with the uh, with the Phoenix Wright uh, beanie from the time skip. All right, hold on. I wanna I wanna look at this. So there's there's a Leon. I think that's a Fem Leon with fox ears. That's another Leon. There's an Ada. Chris? Lady Demetresk is back there. I see I see a, a Heisenberg as well. That's Leon. I think that's a Wesker. That's an Ada. That's another Wesker. I think that's Ada. Leon. <laughs> Leon. Leon. Ada. Two Ashleys. Leon. There's oh, there's one Jill right there. Oh, it's the merchant right there in the middle. The merchant. Leon. Hold on, behind the guy next to the Ada, there's another Lady D. Is there really? Oh, you're right. You're right. There's another another Lady Demetresk. Two Ashleys. I think that's Leon, but in in like a a, hollow, a holiday outfit. That's another Leon. That's another Leon. That's another Leon. That's another Leon. That's a Jill. That's Ada. There's another Leon. There's another Leon back there. There's another Leon back there. There's Ada again. I wonder what the fan favorite character is. G. And I'm sure that remake didn't help. <laughs> but it, it sure sure does seem to be a lot of Leons here. He is, I know. All these evil residents. It's funny because most of these do seem to be Resident Evil 4 characters. And I think I think that's because of the remake. There there are a couple Jills in here. But and in the back there are a couple Resident Evil 8 characters. But besides that, I think there's only one Chris. I think that's supposed to be Chris right there, unless that's another Leon. Yeah, there's a merchant right in the middle. I think that's awesome. There's the soldier. There's a soldier. I don't know who that's supposed to be. I doubt it's Piers Nivens. I don't think anybody remembers Piers Nivens. Anyways, uh... I thought that was pretty funny. That's Agent. Yeah, of course. All right, welcome back to Carto. Like I said, I think we're almost done. The Water Seekers were highly revered in their tribe, being responsible for the survival of their people. This resolute group would seek out new water sources, 
often journeying far from home. Their senses were highly attuned to the desert environment around them to aid them in their search. Once a new water source was located, their tribe would migrate to join them, camels and all. A rarely seen door allowed a scant few story tenders access to the observation deck. Huh? Oh. Someone scrawled a message across the page. The top floor is real, and I found the way there. I don't have enough space to fully explain, but this should get you started. Good luck, future story tenders. A small scroll of paper flutters down. Oh, okay. So it's a specific order then. The strength of a tree is measured by the growth of its roots, as they say in the wildwood. And the mother tree is the strongest of them all. When fully grown, the mother tree's root system extends across the entire world deep underground. This growth process takes roughly a thousand years based on the sapling used to spur her regrowth. Well, the door was allegedly in this room, but the clues could be anywhere. Where was that door? Okay, so, we have a little piece of paper here. Which seems to give us some idea. Okay, so let me look here. I should, all right, you know what? I'm gonna take a screenshot of this so I don't have to keep fucking opening and closing it. Like I said last night, my memory is piss poor, so it would be a lot easier if I just cheated. I mean, I guess it's not cheating. I'm just basically writing down what I see. Um. Okay, I think I have to start here. Do you want? It's take, tell me to take my alarm. Take my alarm. Good. Awesome. Ryan's, take your alarm. Ryan's, take your noodles. Okay. And then I need something that can go down. This is the entrance, so it can't be that one. This one's got to be, this one has to be uh, here, according to that. That I know for sure. The next one's got to be one that can go down. So maybe, oh, maybe this one? Maybe something like that. Oh, I think we got it. Hold on. <gasps> He's a genius. He's so smart. He's so smart, brother. The little cartographer had just barely missed her granny at the iceberg, but she knew she was close. All she had to do now was find somewhere tall enough to get above the clouds. They headed back to the story chalet, short as it was, or was it? I'm missing all this lore. This is the ice area. Not only is the iceberg dwelling a demanding lifestyle choice, but an entirely unpredictable one. Running into a friend might be the last time you see them for a while if the icebergs don't drift together again. Residents install supply boxes of essential tools and food, i.e. sea pickles, on every iceberg in case anyone were to get stranded. The first settler of the iceberg was merely a child lost in a drifted sea separated from his people. 
Upon his arrival, a pack of huskies took great interest in him and nurtured him as one, as, their, as one of their own. They taught him how to hunt, communicate with the other dogs, and keep himself warm. The settler swore that he'd find a way for future generations to have the support of huskies whenever they were needed. Eternal Huskies Another legend of the iceberg involves a miraculous drink called Neverwinter. Created by a mixture of several types of ice and local herbs, Neverwinter puts its drinker into a deep hibernation. This way, they can sleep through the winter safely, until being awoken by the first light of spring. The recipe has been lost to time, though local mixologists are always experimenting, hoping to rediscover it. The legend of the seventh iceberg has been passed down for countless generations. What was once an ancient document lives on only in story recounted by archaeologist Luak to whomever will listen. Whomever will listen. The story says that the iceberg contains a treasure to improve the lives of all people living at the edge of the world. Legend though it may be, Luak has dedicated his existence to finding the treasure, hoping to never give up. Well, he found the huskies. <gasps> oh shit. That's the door, you found it! Come on, Carto. <gasps> Tree. Is that the mother tree already? Oh, I've never been this high up. Is anyone else dizzy? Why, it's just as magnificent as I remember. Why'd you get a load of that tree? Uh, though I'm sorry, girls. It looks like we're still below the clouds, even up here. Don't worry, Carto. We'll just need to get a bit higher. How about on top of that enormous tree? It's hard to tell, but it looks like it goes even higher than we are now. Maybe it's still growing? Yeah, Carto's a girl. I'd say it's worth a try. Somewhere even higher, Remless up. Um, I'm going to stay here and enjoy the view for a bit. Who knows when I'll find my way up here again. Thanks for the help, Mr. Storytender. Come on, Carto. Let's make like a tree and visit that tree. Let's make like a tree and get out of here. Ancient typewriter ink. The ink looks a bit sad. Ink looks a bit funny. Ink looks a bit dramatic. Oh, it's emotional ink. Ready to go? No, hold on. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could do anything. Get me out of here! Best of luck on your journey, girls. And thank you for helping me find this place. I'll never forget it, again. Time for some elevator action. What up, fellas? Wow, it really was the mother tree. Got really tall. It must be because of that fucking glowing ghost thing we put in there. Welcome, beardless messengers. Mother's been expecting you. She told me to gather everyone here, that the time for family has come. Yo. Mother says to thank you for your help in her rebirth. And now it's time for her to help you. You may enter her embrace. Lend mother the energy of that land, and she will take you where you want to go. Vulture soars high. You will go higher. Isn't Mother marvelous? Cherub sapling must have been special to make her grow this quickly. Phew. It can get kind of hot out here when you're as furry as us. Good thing Mother keeps us cool with her shade. If you think Mother is impressive now, you should see her when she's fully grown. Cherub's getting the hang of this watcher thing. Are you ready to head up? This is so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. We're so high up. 
Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. Is that my island in the distance? Check out this view, Carto. Are we finally high up enough? Looks like the clouds are still above us. Let's have a look around. Maybe we can spot something even taller than this. You can see the whole world from up here. It almost looks like a... Map! Carto said something! Oh, look! What are you doing? This is so exciting. You're holding such big pieces of the map. Are you putting everything together? Connect every piece of the map. Oh, shit. All right. We gotta... We gotta try to do this correctly. <laughs> I wonder if it only fits together one way. I guess we'll see. Probably not. I think we'll be good. Or, or maybe we're fucked. <laughs> maybe it does only go together one way. Nah, we'll be fine. It'll be fine. He's smart. He's wicked smart. He's wicked smart, so he'll figure it out because he's smart. He's fucking smart. He's fucking smart. <laughs> I could have just done that the whole time. That was my island way out there. Wow. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, that's the grasslands we first sailed to. It feels like forever ago. This one's basically already done. Just need to find a way to fit these in. It's a forest all around us. Huh. Did you feel that rumbling? This, this part's already good. Story Chalet. Hi, Mr. Storytender. This one's good, too. Is that the desert you travel to? It's enormous. All right, volcano. Volcano. That rumbling is getting stronger. Is it going to erupt again? 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was dreading this part, boys. Let's go. it around this one. happening again. Complete map. I really miss those iceberg pups. But Carto, that rumbling is getting serious. Oh boy. Oh shit! What's happening? Hold on! Carto, we're above the clouds. Can you see your granny? Granny. <gasps> granny! <gasps> granny! <gasps> granny! Carto, my sweet. I knew we'd find each other, dear girl. It was only a matter of time. Or should I say, a mapper. A mapper of time. Heart, you've been so resourceful to track me here. And you found all the pieces of our map. A true master cartographer, just like your granny. And who's your companion? Hello, ma'am. I'm Shannon. I would say I've heard so much about you, but Carto's a little on the quiet side. She's the best, though. She's taught me so many things. And we've been on so many we've been to so many cool places. And 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 I want to hear all about them, child. But now that we're all together, why don't you show me a few firsthand? We could take the airship. We'll use the map that you girls recovered. You can introduce me to some of your new friends and take me to your favorite spots. Oh Shannon? Thanks. I'd love to join. Lead the way, Carto. We did it. <gasps> we did it. <laughs> she wants to fuck that bear. I did it. We're just chilling. So glad that we're both back and with our precious girls. You said it, sister. And what a little slice of heaven this is. These old bones, thank you. I would never have found the oasis without your fearless little lady here. I'm mighty proud of her. And speaking of mighty, those camels carry quite the stench. Stink. Stink joke. This game was really, really cute. 
it was cute and it was it was fun that ice level was infuriating but still it was it was a good time this is uh it's worth it this game it's very cute very fun good time had by all now let me ask you guys Do you know any other, like, shorter, kind of, like, puzzly indie games like this? Because I, I, like, like, I played Donut County and played this, and those were both a lot of fun. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to play some more. Are you 15? Look at the dogs! I wanted to check out the Orba Din game. Obradin. Sniffa. The little cartographer and her granny finally reunited and embraced warmly. The crisp air rustled through the leaves around them, high atop the mother tree. She felt so happy to be back with her favorite person in the world. She had also made a new best friend and discovered a newfound taste for adventure. Thanks for the invite, guys. It sounds like so much fun. But I hear the ocean whispering my name. I still have some more exploring of my own to do before I find my new home. It was lovely meeting you, Granny. Thanks for sharing your stories with me. And you, child. I'm so glad you and Karta found one another. Best of luck out there. I'll miss you so much, Karto. But I'm sure we'll find each other again soon. Best friends never stay long, gone for long. Carto and Chianin. Oh. Cute. That was a lot of fun. Uh, uh. If they ever wanted to make a second one. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll fucking play it. Pretty small team. And I really like these little, uh... Those little inter... Those little, uh... Little cards in between. What are the Interstitial? Is that the right word? I don't even know. Dear Shannon, it's so nice to be back with Granny, but I miss you lots. The skies have been beautiful. It's only been a week, but we've already seen so many amazing things. We haven't made it through another storm. We're prepared for anything now. Thank you for such a great thank you for being such a great friend to me. I hope you find wherever you're meant to be, and I'm sure I'll see you there soon. Also, you won't believe what I find hiding on the airship. One of the iceberg pups smuggled aboard. Good thing she likes seafood stew. Anyways, we all miss you. Right back when you can. Love, Carto. P.S. Granny says hi. Ah, Carto. I miss you too. <gasps> oh, did you poor doggy? Huh? Where'd you come from? Good girl. I did the doggy. Oh, the doggy. The end. Very cute. Very fun game. Highly recommend.